Hi, my name is Carrie Goulder from Kid Giddy, and I'm going to show you how to make my hedgehog. This little hedgehog has little bits of fur on the back, a pointy little nose, and cute little hands and feet. First, we're going to start with our fabric. Some pieces of the hedgehog, you only need one piece of fabric for. So you'll need one spine piece, and you'll need two back pieces. So you want to make sure that you accommodate for those different pieces. You'll need one body piece or belly, two face pieces, and you'll need one bottom piece. We're going to place our cutting pads, one on top and one on the bottom, and put them through the fabby. This die cut can be used in the fabby, the big shot, and the big kick. As you're taking them apart, be gentle if there's a little piece that's attached to not pull on it but go ahead and clip it instead with some scissors. So now that I've cut out all my pieces for the hedgehog, we have one spine piece, two back side pieces, one belly, one bottom piece, two cheeks, and we have 12 pieces or six sets of the hands, the feet, and the ears. When you get to the ears, we're gonna trim one quarter inch off of them so that they're a little bit shorter than the hands and the feet. We're gonna start by sewing the hands, the feet, and the ears together. Because these are flannel, I don't have to worry about right sides together. If you use a printed fabric, you wanna make sure that you place your right sides together first before starting. As you're sewing, you wanna make sure that you lock in your stitches at the beginning and the end. It's also easier to sew with the needle down. I'm just gonna pick up my foot after every stitch, as I'm going around the curve, maybe two stitches around the top, and then finish with a locked stitch again. So with the hands, the feet, and the ears, they're relatively small. So you wanna make sure that you sew with a 1 8 inch seam allowance. When you're done sewing your 1 8 inch seam allowance, you wanna notch the curves around the top of all the ears and the feet. When you've completed that on all the feet and the ears, you wanna turn your pieces right side out using turning tools. You stick a turning tube through the opening of the ears, the feet, or the hands. Then you press the stick down into the tube and the ear, hands and feet will pop out, turned around just for you. You wanna push out the shape a little bit, but don't push too hard, because you might make a hole in it, especially if it's flannel, it tends to be very fragile. Now that we have all of our hands, feet, and ears together and turned right side out, we're gonna put those aside. So now we're going to put together the front of the hedgehog. You'll need two hands for this step, you want to place them about a half an inch away from the edge of the hedgehog belly. Pin it in place. And then pin the other side in place. Now that you have the two hands in place, you'll want to put the cheek pieces, the face pieces, on the hedgehog. The die has this little notch to show you that those two notches need to stay together. So that will actually be the very front seam of the hedgehog. It should look like this. The knot should be upward and then laid over to one side. So we're going to start by sewing this side. And you want to sew 1 8 of an inch seam allowance here. I like to start with a little piece of leader fabric. I want to make sure that the tip of the nose or the sides don't get stuck down underneath. Sometimes the needle just pushes it down because it's a very small seam allowance. So this helps to prevent your fabric from bunching up. Again, you want to lock in your stitches at the beginning and the end so that they don't come undone as you're turning and connecting pieces. As you're going around a curve, you may need to lift your foot a little and pivot the fabric. Adjust the tip of the nose to make sure it's all lined up.
You'll want to lift up the piece with the notch and you'll want to place the next piece next to it or on the opposite side and stitch that piece into place. So now that I have the two cheek pieces attached to the belly, you'll want to sew the two pieces together that have a notch using a 1 8 inch seam allowance also. Now that the cheek pieces are connected in the center seam, you want to open the seam and lay them flat against the tip of the belly. This is actually the hedgehog's nose and you want to make sure that that seam is very well closed. So we're just going to use a, quarter, a 1 8 inch to a quarter inch seam allowance to close that nose. Now that the pieces are attached, we're going to pin the two ears and the two feet and put this front piece aside to work on the back. You'll want to pin the ears approximately one half inch to three quarter inches away from that center seam. To put the feet in the right position, you want to fold the bottom of the hedgehog fabric in half and press to make a little crease. Place the feet approximately 1 8 inch away from that crease and pin them in place. Now that we finished the front of the hedgehog, we're going to start sewing the back. So now that we're starting the back piece, you're going to want to take the spine piece and put it on top of one of the side pieces. It should be right sides together and we're going to make sure that the top is aligned and the bottom is aligned as well. Then you're going to sew around the curve to connect them. So now I have one side back piece connected to the spine and we want to connect the other side back piece to the other side of the spine. Now that our three back pieces are put together, we want to notch the curves along the back. This will help it to curve nicely when it's all finished. So we're just going to clip little triangles, little notches, approximately one quarter inch away from each other, and at least three threads away from the seam, because you want to make sure that you don't clip the seam. So we'll continue that along both sides of the spine. We want to flip the back over and we're going to start attaching the one inch strips as the fur. You can use a one inch strip die to cut the strips for you. If you've used the one inch strip die for a different project, you can always use the scraps that you have left over from that project. I also like to use the selvage edges for projects like the hedgehog. You can start at the top of the hedgehog back or you can start at the bottom, whichever you prefer. I'm going to start at the top just to show you how difficult this curve is. As we go along, you'll want to make sure that you pull the fabric out from underneath so it doesn't get trapped under there. You'll want to make sure when you sew the top piece that you leave at least 3 eighths of an inch away from the edge of the back. You want to sew right down the center of your one inch strip and continue all the way down. Now we're going to flip the top piece over and we're going to add the next strip. You can place these right side up or right side down. It's totally up to you. I like to mix and match, move them all around. I use up my scraps and it makes it really, really cute. Now that we're coming to the center of the spine, it'll start getting a little more difficult to get through that center. But you still want to make sure that you continue to open it up as you go underneath the needle and pull it apart. Each strip should be approximately one quarter inch away from the top edge of the other strip that you just placed. So now I'm getting to that point where I need to pull up on the back 
so that it opens up that center spine. Otherwise, it will get stitched together. So you wanna keep attaching your one inch strips till you get to the bottom of the hedgehog, but you wanna leave at least a half inch space at the bottom so that you can attach the other pieces. When you're done attaching your one inch strips, you'll have all these little seams on the back and on the front, you'll have some, a really cool effect with all different scrap pieces of fabric. You can trim off your edges to make it nice and neat, which will actually help you when you attach the front of the body. You'll also want to make sure that you have your half inch so that you can attach the bottom later and you'll have room for that seam allowance. So now we have the front piece and we have the back piece and we're gonna wanna put them together. So you'll want to attach the center seam of the hedgehog to the center seam of the back of the hedgehog. So put those two center seams together and pin them in place. Now you'll want to curve the back. You wanna punch out the back a little bit so that it curves nice and neat. It'll be easier if I trim these little pieces off here so I can see the two curves and make sure that they're lined up properly. Once they're lined up, you pin them in place. Now you'll pin the other side. This is where it's important to make sure that the hands are far enough away from the seam so that they don't get stuck into your seam. Now we're going to sew the hedgehog together. We're going to start from the center and we're going to sew down each side. You wanna make sure that you always start in the center and go down because if you sew all the way around the edge of the hedgehog, it can actually distort the body a little bit. So as long as you sew from the top down on both sides, it'll keep your hedgehog straight. Now you wanna sew the feet on. I should have done this before I sewed the back together to the front, so we can still do that now. So I'm going to attach the feet to the belly. Now that our hedgehog is all pieced together, before we turn it right side out, we wanna clip and notch all the curves. For here, we actually want to clip the inside curve. You're just going to carefully clip a 1 8 inch seam allowance. You wanna be at least three threads away from the seam. You wanna clip 1 8 inch apart from each other or 1 quarter inch. It's really up to you. So I'm just clipping right here along these inside curves, but you wanna make sure not to clip the seam. We're also going to trim off the little corners of the nose so that it reduces bulk when you turn the nose right side out. So now we're ready to turn our hedgehog right side out. Check and make sure that your hands were not sewn into the seams and check to make sure that your ears and your hands are actually sewn into the seam properly. You wanna push out the nose very gently. I prefer to use the metal stick, but it can poke a hole in the nose if you push too hard. So just push it gently and roll it around until it looks like it's coming out. I think that looks good. Here's our bottom piece. We're going to attach it so that the right side is on the belly and we're just going to attach it a little bit so that we have a starting point for when we start to stitch it around. Before we stuff the hedgehog, we want to trim away the one inch strips from the seam. We want to do that very carefully so that you don't cut the seam or you don't cut the strips off. You also don't want to cut the ear. So we're just going to push our, the underneath of our scissors 
as close to the edge as we can, flip it up and do the next one. Continue all the way down the edge of the hedgehog and then repeat on the other side. This will help to relax the hedgehog's back so that you'll begin to see the curve in those pieces. It'll also make your hedgehog a little fuller when you stuff it. If you don't do this step before you stuff it, you may find that your hedgehog is not stuffed enough when you are finished with it. Now that we've cut away the sides, we want to make the fur really fuzzy. To do this, you're going to cut little slits in the fabric one half inch away from each other. You want to make sure not to cut the underneath back pieces of the hedgehog. Then we're going to stagger the next piece. So we're actually going to cut what looks like one quarter inch here, but then start spacing it out one half inch again. This staggered cut will give the fur a little bit more fluff. So keep doing that all the way down to the bottom of your hedgehog, and then you can stuff your hedgehog. Now that we've stuffed our hedgehog, we wanna make sure that the nose is stuffed really well. I really like to use a stuffing fork because it has the two tines on the end, and that grips the stuffing really well. You just hold a little bit of stuffing in your hands, and you twist the stuffing fork like spaghetti. Then you wanna stuff it into the hedgehog and push it straight up into the nose. Pull it back and keep pushing it to make sure it's in there secure. Now we're going to sew the bottom all the way around. You wanna make sure that you don't sew the furry pieces into the bottom. We're going to hand stitch this bottom piece all the way around. I find it easiest to stitch right here in the back, in the center, then stitch on the two sides, and then you can go all the way around and make sure it's secure at the bottom. So here's my finished hedgehog. Here's the bottom, all sewn around the edge. And I added embroidery eyes. You can add beaded eyes, tiny faceted beads. You can use other regular little tiny beads. But I really like embroidery floss if this is for a child. It prevents a choking hazard and it's really safe. I wanna show you another option. If you want to use a furry back, a real fur back, instead of these one inch strips, you can use a furry fabric, but make sure that you serge your edges before you place them together. I think it can make for a really, really cute hedgehog when it's all sewn together. These little hedgehogs love to have fun. Make one and stick it in your pocket or in your bag, and they'll go wherever you want to go.